Okay, thank you. Oliver submitted a question that uh, he says, I have type 1 diabetes, and you know he's been eating raw vegetables, seaweeds, the non-sweet fruits, the greens and sprouts and seeds and nuts, but his dietitian tells him these are all low carbohydrates, that it's a low carbohydrate diet, and he's essentially fasting, <laughs> and says that he needs instead to be eating some cooked grains, bread, sweet fruits, cooked beans, and yet he's noticed that his glucose, his blood glucose, goes up and down a lot, you know, when he eats what they're telling him to eat. Where on the living food diet, his blood glucose is steady in the normal range and he's full of energy. Well, well this, this question uh, frames the unfortunate problem we have in nutrition today, where the overwhelming majority of formally trained nutritionists and doctors uh, use what I call the pacifying approach to blood sugar. They think by giving either sugar directly, and even if you gave a good sugar, like a date, some of them give honey, whatever it may be, or the obvious bad sugar, white sugar, that it regulates blood sugar when it goes up or down. Now the truth of the matter is, it's like giving a drug addict drugs and pretending they've recovered. So what you have to do is remove that and give consistent protein. That's why from the non-high carbohydrate, raw foods, that are what the body is built to eat, it doesn't break down in 30 minutes to large amounts of sugar. It gives vitamins, minerals, proteins, trace minerals, essential fatty acids, etc., which feeds the body. But beyond that, take the supplemental form of chlorella, green algae and take that, uh, depending upon how often you have a problem, how large the problem is, every hour, every two hour throughout the day, from two of these light little tiny tablets to ten of these tablets you can take. Most people take three to five of these tablets. And that regulation is going to help to bring about a recovery in the cases of type 1 that it will happen. Uh, type 1 unlike type 2, that is 100% correctable by altering lifestyle, is in great part correctable and certainly you can dramatically reduce the insulin need in cases, but it's not quite as easy unfortunately as type 2 diabetes. Thank you.